two previously with his other club, Hacken. And they will be favourites going into this one. Home advantage. And apart from a couple of devastating defeats, they've been very consistent this season. And shaking hands with the interim manager for Leicester, Jennifer Foster, who's had to pick up the pieces a very difficult few weeks with the dismissal of Willie Kirk after an investigation into his conduct led to his dismissal. She came in the day before the Liverpool quarter-final. They won that. They haven't won since. This is such a high-stakes game. In the other semi-final between Manchester United and Chelsea later on, those two well used to these occasions. These two, well, this is special. This could be history. It will be history. And it is Leicester City in the blue who get us underway. It's James Turner for loose pass. Oh, and that's a mistake. And Leicester are in here. And it's sent just wide by Tierney. A huge let off for Tottenham. You can see Simonen as well taking a huge deep breath in. Sloppy from her. But Tierney, she looks up, she's got one thing on her mind as well. I'm not sure how wide it was, but. Becky Spencer didn't from Drew Spence and the ball over the top for Jess Nance is delightful. She will get there. Options in the middle. Beth England is one of them, but it's claimed by Cop. Really, really, really clever play there from Drew Spence. She just gets it in, she just flicks it round. Grace Clinton, very direct. And I think that's what Jessica Nance offers you. She's direct. She's an outlet. You see what's happening? She's just holding up for Beth England to get there. Here they're safe in the league, but they've got an FA Cup run. It's a loose ball from Green, here's Clinton, pirouetting away, that's a great touch, it's Nilden, straight at Cop, who makes the save, corner kick. Grace Clinton just seemed to struggle to get the ball out of her feet then, because I thought at first the best option was on the right-hand side. Again, it's a good turnover here, I didn't know if maybe Jessica Naz there, she does a little spin, obviously Bazette picks it up, great first touch to be honest with you, but keeper makes herself big, big important save. There's the effort from Bizet. Just pass cut out, but Drew Spence will get there. Gets the cross in. Back in by Bula over the top. Well, that's a really good play from Bizet. Too strong. And charging forward, Clinton finds Bizet. Leaning back over the top. Leicester in all sorts of prob bother. Spurs can't capitalise. Bizet and Clinton are causing so much carnage there. And it's because Leicester are too slow in possession. You get the ball, you've got to move it, you ain't got time. And Tottenham are pressing them high. It's what we said about Grace Clinton, especially in a game like today. Here is the dangerous Utah Rantala. Rantala goes for goal! Oh, my word! surprise she's been doing that all season she's done it in the semi-finals of the FA Cup Leicester ahead a rasper from Rantala what a finish even I went oh she gets the ball she's it's far too much respect there you know what a player like that can do Nilden's far too away from her he's able to pick it up She's jockeying, jockeying, able to go left foot, right foot. You know, as soon as she comes in, it's like identical to the goal she scores against Liverpool. She cuts back in on her left foot. It's an absolute rocket. Straight past Becky Spencer in goal. I think it's, I think it's the speed as well that stops Becky Spencer because I think, I don't know if she sees it late, but here, get close to her too. As soon as she cuts inside, you need to step. You can't allow her to do that. Pretty much took the net off. The technique. It's becoming her trademark, Rantala. Leicester. Time on Tottenham's side, but that's a really good play from Cayman, trying to slip it through for Rose. Tierney! Crucial stop from Spencer. 
Really, really good step in play from Cayman there. Skips past a couple of Tottenham players. Dana Rose on the outside shoulder. At first, I thought, well, this ain't really a great ball that she's put in. Scorer over this corner kick. It's the outswinger, it's deep. Howard wins it. Should do better there. You can see, you can see with her as well, her reaction. Space in front of her. Options right and left, finds Naz. Clinton hanging out on the edge of the box, it's Naz. Mamiki. Rose in behind, Ashley Neville. It's Rose. Tight angle. It's just a dig away. Finds Beth England. Box. Well, it's a difficult one. Really well dealt with by Cop. Yes. Uh, now Naz. He's got the better of Cayman a couple of times as he does again here. It's Naz wide. What I like about Tottenham as well is when Jessica Naz gets the ball. They all stay away. They just allow her to do what she's best at, which is a 1v1. Suman and Cop with the punch, and thankfully for her, didn't land at a Tottenham player's feet. Yeah, brave punch again. Ball for Rose. Here is Mamiki. Cayman, the roof of the net. A good link-up play there from Leicester. Obviously, had Rose involved, Peterman involved, and me. Here comes the corner, over the top from Sumanen. I didn't know at first if it was Sumanen who, who won it, or the Leicester. But yeah, Sumanen's just leaning back. And she's arguing that it's a it's a corner from Green. Sent forward by Botts. Oh, that header doesn't have the legs. It's Rose who didn't have the composure. I actually don't think she needs to take that second touch. I think as it comes off of Turner's head. And there we go, half time. And it is Leicester who have the advantage, thanks to an absolute belter from Yuta Rantala. They've had further opportunities. Tottenham have also had chances themselves, but they have lacked the composure in front of goal. And also some... And it is Tottenham who are going to get us underway in the sunshine in North London. Leicester leading thanks to a brilliant goal from Yuta Rantala. She's on the move again. Plays in Peterman. And that was an early chance. And Bula, at the end, doing her defensive work soundly. Really important defending there from Bula as well because I thought she got away. Again, here, obviously, it's not really dealt with at all by Amy Turner. Great, but great recovering defending there. Down the line for England. Spence on the overlap. England goes for it. Tried to find the top corner. Not quite precise enough. Yeah, good from Beth England there, but important from Drew Spence as well, because Drew Spence does an overlap around Beth England. So obviously Leicester a little bit conscious, which allows then... Here's Drew Spence. On to Clinton, heavy touch, but it runs here, and it's just over the top from Amanda Nilden. I think Grace Clinton was hoping that Nilden was going to play her out on the outside. It says she cuts back in. Grace Clinton picks the ball up here, heavy touch. But here, I think she thought she was going to slip her, which she doesn't. She... In a loaded six-yard oh, area. Sumanen. You wondered if that was something that seemed like come off the training ground, you know, and 
near ball, delivery, set back down for Simonen, just needs to get over the top of it. Yeah, just leans back a little bit, goes with the laces. Yeah, straight over. Brace Clinton. Naz. It's a waste. Yes, it's a big wasted opportunity. Takarada down. Play on, says the referee. Here's Clinton. Digs out the cross towards Thomas. Inches away. Yeah, really good idea from Clinton there. England. Naz telegraphs the cross. An easy take at the end for Cop. Then I just give it away. Rose on the run again. Beautifully collected by Peterman. Bot trying to find Rantala. Here is Rantala again. Not this time. Peterman does really well there because I think I thought the chance had been lost when the ball was cut across the box. Good play from Bot. Obviously, Rantala as well opens up. You think she's got one thing on her mind. So... On corner kick duty now. It's delivered low towards England. The near post. Not the easiest of chances. Gets her feet. England. Oh, forward towards Nas. It's a mistake. Jessica Nas in here. It's Nas. It's 1 1. A composed finish at the vital moment. And Tottenham level. I feel gutted as well for Josie Green because I just commented her on such a good game. But when you are playing in that defensive position, you are a centre back. If you make one mistake, it can cost your team and you can be punished for it. But Jessica Nass does really well because she does not give up on it. Maybe some centre forwards, that ball would be bouncing, they just stop. I mean, the referee seems to be enjoying it as well, by the way. But Jessica Nass just doesn't stop, she keeps on it. Josie Green mistimes it completely. She still has a lot to do, but here, top, unless they don't win the ball, the ball's bouncing. No one connects with it, no one wins with it. She's still got a lot to do, Jessica Naz. Calm and composed finish into the bottom corner, but the, the problem was is that Leicester didn't win that in the midfield. Too many players sticking a foot out, not connecting with it. Josie Green does the same in the defence there. Jessica Naz picks it up, calmly puts it into the bottom corner. Great finish. Jessica Naz with her fifth of the season. Accomplished, precise, right into the corner. Robot on the retreat. And that's really good play. It's towards England! Well, it's in the right place. Just a little too much weight on that cross. Yeah, really good play down the left-hand side there for Tottenham. Great little ball into the box. Finds O'Brien. <laughs> Sits Neville down, and she's still going. O'Brien forces a really good save from Spencer. Yeah, really good save there from, from Becky Spencer, because I'm not too sure how much she sees off that. I mean, O'Brien, her, her legs and her feet were sending me a bit mad up here from the gantry, so I don't know how Ashley Neville felt. But, I mean, it's a, it's a good play, good feet. You know, she only wants to do one thing, but I'm not too sure how. Ray are making good ground. Here's the goal scorer, Jessica Naz. Can she turn for Bider? Grant looks hopefully at the referee, who is unmoved. I think it's just really good defending from, from Leicester. I think it's Bot 
who got over there to recover. You can see what Grant was doing. She was trying to hold her run out to potentially go first time, but Bot reads it really, really well. Thomas. Cross comes in. Thomas! Artinen right on the keeper and Kopp. Makes good distance on the punch. Bimbo back in, it's Thomas! Inches. Fingertip save from Kopp. To keep the score level. Wow! Even I said my hand over my mouth. <laughs> Great first touch from, from Thomas there. Klopp celebrates that like she's just scored a goal. It's a huge save. It's important. Deep cross in. It's won by James Turner. Straight at Klopp. More likely to win this in the 90. England. Oh, just wide. Grant on the end of the cross. Cop might have had that covered. Again, you see Beth England here. For me, I don't really want Beth England out there. I want her in the box. Puts a good delivery in. Grant come off the back shoulder. Yeah. Frantic end to this semi final. And it's not over yet. Jessica Naz. Cool. Going into. This period of extra time, directed away from goal. Picked up by Bula, a mighty cross, well claimed by Kopp. Where Rantala scored in the first half, that was from open play, see how she is from the dead ball. It's Rantala, off the bar! Swept back in towards Howard. Oh, now the decision's gone the other way. I mean, I'm not too sure what Howard done there because I actually thought that Grant looked like. England brings it away. Lindbergh making the run. And CJ Barts. It's just a little buffet as Lindbergh. Went for goal there. Yeah, it's great. Half time, a oh, of extra time. As it stands, we will be heading for penalties, but still 15 minutes to go. Use push. So 1-1. One, one. Keeps it in and delivers. Level clip. She gives it to Palmer and Palmer just kicks it straight to Becky Spencer. Oh, that's a short back pass and Spencer did so well with that. Was she caught? She's really not happy. Peterman trying to get onto the end of it. But Spencer will not be happy. Pop came. Good distance on the punch. Vinberg swings it back in. Oh, it's there! Martha Thomas has surely won it for Tottenham! Wow, you can just hear the stage. 
stadium, the roar when Marvin Thomas puts that ball in. They let's to deal with the first one. I mean, some lesser players ain't got a clue where Marvin Thomas is, but she just comes onto it. She just wants it more. See, unfortunate for Ireland winning. It's a really difficult situation to be in. She thinks she's got time. I've been there as a defender. You think you've got all the time in the world, but that from Martha Thomas is the hunger, the want, the drive to be the first person to win that ball. It's a brave header, it's a great header. Martha Thomas with another goal at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Enjoying the big stage, and it looks like she's going to enjoy the biggest stage of all. Wembley awaits Tottenham Hotspur. So little time for Leicester to get back into this. Go, could this be last chance saloon for Leicester? It's delivered low. Oh, the goalkeeper's there. Cop headed towards goal. All the hands to the pump for Spurs. Cayman's shot blocked. And Nas gets rid of it. And the goalkeeper's won out of her goal. The attempt doesn't have much, le many legs on it. And it will be cleared up. But there we have it. It's history for Tottenham Hotspur. In their first ever semi-final, they have made it to their first ever FA Cup final. Oh, they've had to do it the hard way. Going behind to such an early goal that they produced.